everyone, welcome back to another episode here at Go Rails. In this episode, we're going to look at the different behaviors of using the super keyword. Now, what I mean by this is we're going to look at the different ways it handles arguments uh, that are sent to the methods that are wrapping your calls to super. Okay, so let's jump right in and start with an example here. So let's say we have a class uh, called base, okay? And let's just say in here we have a method called publish, okay? Now inside here, uh, what we'll say is we just want this to set the self.published attribute to true. Now we don't have this attribute, so we need to define that. So let's say, let's just do an adder accessor for published. And now let's make it a new class. Let's make a post class uh, that inherits from base. We'll just end it like this. And then let's come down here. Let's make a new post. Let's say post equals post dot new. And then let's print out uh, post dot published. And then we'll say post dot publish. And then we can print out this line again after we mark it as published. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab here. Let's run this program here. Uh, Ruby super dot RB. Okay, now we see the first result here is nil uh, because that instance variable is never set to false by default anywhere. We have no initialized methods where we do that. So it's just going to give back nil since we're not ever setting that when we instantiate the new post object. Now we can fix that if we come inside of our base class here and we define an initialized method. We say published. And we can say at published equals published. Okay. Now what we can do is we can set a default value here of false. All right. So now if we clear this out and we rerun our program here, we can see that the first time we get false because now what is happening here is when we make this new post instance, it is calling the initialized method of its super class, which is the base class here that it inherits from. And since we don't pass uh, a value to the new method here, we take the default of false. That's why we're seeing that. Then we go ahead and call our post.publish method here, which will set that attribute to true. And that's why on the next line, we see true printed out there uh, when we then call the published method to retrieve the value of that attribute. Now, speaking of attributes, our post is pretty boring here, our post class, um, not really anything happening in here. So let's go ahead and, you know, every good post needs a title at least. So let's go ahead and set that up now. So I'm just gonna make another adder accessor here because um, we might want to change the title uh, attribute later on. So we'll have a write method and a read method for that attribute. Now let's make an initialize method here. So def initialize title. Now what if we wanted to title a post and mark it as published right from instantiation? Well, we'd want to take that value in so we can say published here okay now we need to set at title is equal to title now what we want to do here is we want to make sure to call the initialized method from the parent class so that we can get the published attribute set okay and also let's set a default value for uh published here so now we have at title equals title and now we need to do something with this published argument when it comes in now what we want to do is we want to call the initialized method from the parent class so that we can set this attribute properly okay so now you might think all you need to do is call super here so let's just call super here and down where we're making a new post instance. Let's make a, or let's pass in a title. Uh, let's say uh, Ruby's super method. Oop. Okay, so now if we go over to this other terminal tab here and we run our program, we see that we get wrong number of arguments given to expected zero to one. What's going on here? 